friend and in the alien suggested that I give uh, blogging a try and tell you folks about uh, the creation process of my drawing the comic critic. This week I drew a review of Tron and as you can see here in my little sketchbook everything's kind of white looking. There's no cross hatching uh, that I typically do and that's because I'm really really lazy and I just like to after I scan it in use Photoshop and just fill in the areas with black that I know that I'm going to be using as black. Why are you being so lazy drawing this uh, strip using so much black, which I typically don't like to use? The thing is about Tron is that even then it was such a dark film, as in physically dark. That, that had to do with the computer rendering at the time. It was a lot easier to render stuff that was dark than it was to render stuff that was lighter. So I made fun of that in my strip. And I'm sure that in Tron Legacy, you're going to see a lot of things that are going to be dark. Still, I have a big problem with things that are too dark. Or when you go home and you watch it on your DVD, it looks terrible. I mean, you're staring at a black screen. I don't like staring at a black screen. Now, I don't mind looking at a black screen when I'm in the theater because there's richness, it has depth. But when I look at a black screen at home, I get this glare. But even though Tron was dark, it was still awesome and cool when I was a kid, and I did give it a rating of 8, and I'm still thinking maybe I should rethink that. I'm thinking maybe it deserves a, a 9, and I would have definitely given it a 10 before I turned 20. Give me a post. Let me know if you think it deserves a better rating than 8. To see the final version of the strip and additional commentary, visit thecomiccritic.com. Go see a movie.